Directors Francis Ford Coppola, David Cronenberg and Yorgos Lanthimos will compete for the Cannes Film Festival's top prize next month, festival head Thierry Fermo said Thursday, April 11, easing concerns that strikes in Hollywood might dim the star-studded event. Fermo told journalists that a shutdown of several months in the Hollywood industry is felt, and also has an impact on the Cannes Film Festival. However, American cinema will be fully present. Que bien entendu, un arrêt de plusieurs mois dans l'industrie hollywoodienne euh, se voit et impacte euh, également euh, le Festival de Cannes. Encore que, et pas seulement parce que euh, Kevin Costner euh, sera des nôtres, que George Lucas sera des nôtres et qu'on a aussi beaucoup d'encore d'autres annonces euh, à faire, le cinéma américain sera tout à fait présent. Coppola will bring his long-in-the-making passion project Megalopolis, starring Adam Driver, to the competition, while Lanthimos teams up with Emma Stone after the success of Poor Things with Kinds of Kindness and Cronenberg will pull in horror fans again with The Shroud starring Vincent Castle. His relationship with France is very strong, and with Cannes. And um, he started really to edit his film one year ago, and uh, as we are talking, uh, quite frequently I, w I was just asking, what about you, what are you doing? Weeks ago, he told me, well, I'm finished. Uh, do you want to see it? I said, yes. And, uh, and, and then, and then uh, he has accepted my invitation. Last year marked a difficult one in Hollywood as strikes by actors and writers forced filming and post-production work to shut down for months, leaving gaps in 2024's movie schedule. Other directors unveiling their new films in competition include Italy's Paolo Sorrentino with the Naples set Parthenope, Brazilian Karim Ainu's erotic thriller Motel Destino, and France's Jacques Audiard with Emilia Perez, a musical set in the milieu of a Mexican drug cartel starring Selena Gomez. In The Apprentice, Iranian-Danish director Ali Abbasi, known for Holy Spider, looks at Donald Trump's early years as a real estate tycoon, with Sebastian Stan of superhero movie fame playing the former U.S. president. Et là, c'est un film américain qui s'appelle L'Apprenti, et L'Apprenti n'est euh, ni plus ni moins que Donald Trump, euh, et c'est un film qui raconte les jeunes années euh, du, de l'apprenti Donald Trump qui va devenir euh, Donald Trump. C'est donc un film tout à fait américain. This year also marks the return of several big-name Chinese directors after a four-year gap due to the COVID pandemic, festival director Thierry Fermo told journalists. Peter Chan euh, est un cinéaste chinois et le film s'appelle She's Got No Name. Euh, C'est un film qui euh, fera également revenir Zhang Ziyi euh, sur la croisette. Euh, C'est la plus grosse production chinoise de l'année. Ils ont bloqué les rues de Shanghai pendant euh, quelques mois. Et... Euh, euh, on a vu revenir euh, pas mal de, de films chinois en, euh, dans le processus euh, de sélection. They will include Ken veteran Jia Zhangka in the main competition with Caught by the Tides and Peter Chan's She Has No Name screening out of competition. Several big-name actors are making a can appearance, including Richard Gere, Uma Thurman and Jacob Elordi, who all star in director Paul Schrader's competition film O, oh, Canada, as well as Hollywood icons Nicolas Cage and Demi Moore. Coming off the resounding success of last summer's Barbie, U.S. director Greta Gerwig will head this year's jury. Organizers had built up anticipation ahead of Thursday for this year's lineup by announcing George Miller's new Mad Max film and a Western starring Kevin Costner would be premiering. C'est pas accueillir un auteur de blockbuster, pas plus que rendre hommage à George Lucas et uniquement euh, celui qui a inventé la saga euh, Star Wars. Ce sont des, des, grands, euh, des grandes imaginations euh, qui sont venues nourrir de manière très contemporaine le cinéma euh, de personnages nouveaux, d'histoires nouvelles. Et ça donne ce Furiosa très envie, euh, pour ceux qui ne le font pas chaque année, et c'est un tort, de retourner à la saga Mad Max et de revoir les premiers épisodes. The 2024 festival runs from May 14th to 25th.